All right, it's here, the Harbor Freight 750-pound heavy-duty ATV motor high-lift jack. Uh, it arrived FedEx yesterday. I paid uh, uh, $169.99. Uh, shipping, handling, tax, all that stuff. Uh, let's see, shipping and handling was $21.94. Tax was $9.01. Or is that cents? Anyway, the grand total out of pocket to get it in my garage was $200.94. <laughs> anyway, so uh, the reason I had it delivered uh, was because <clears throat> going back and forth to Harbor Freight four times equals shipping and handling. And this is what I learned about Harbor Freight is that they will give you a rain check on the price but it's first come first serve and uh, like the truck they uh, unload the truck Tuesday night uh, and Wednesday morning you can go in there when the doors open and uh, grab something if it's not available uh, this was not available for a long time I've been trying for months to get one and just going back and forth to the store I finally ordered it and when I ordered it, it was on back order, which explains a lot. And then also a hurricane came through, kind of wiped out North Carolina. That's where one of their warehouses were. That kind of hurt a lot. Uh, this one shipped from uh, South Carolina. But anyway, uh, so here it is. And I'm going to uh, open it up and take a look as well as assemble it, uh, but I will uh, not bore you with each of the details or fast forward through it. I'll just show you bits and pieces, maybe where I'm struggling, things like that. All right, let's do some unboxing here. All right, in an effort to uh, widen their potential for sales, you know, they list ATV, yard tractor, golf cart, mower, utility, service vehicle, stuff like that, you know, so, which makes sense. So, in the box, we have some Chinese styrofoam. Oh, actually it's not. It's uh, pretty good stuff. What I call Chinese styrofoam is that stuff that, uh, you know, flakes off. It goes everywhere. It's really a mess. Uh, but anyway, uh, this, is, this is pretty good stuff. So anyway, as you can see, it's been jostled around. I mean, you're looking at a 110-pound box. So uh, when the FedEx guy dropped it off, you know, he said, hey, be careful. It's heavy. <laughs> exactly. Here is the pump with the pedal sticking out. Oh, Chinese cardboard this is what I call Chinese cardboard. You know, it's basically really crap that you can't use again. All right, instruction manual. Unfortunately, I'm a guy, so I'm not allowed to read that. So we'll just toss that aside. And let's see. Here's the pump. Well, it looks pretty heavy duty, you know, bottle jack. So hopefully everything's okay with it. I'll figure out how to pump it up and release it later. All right, well, I'm gonna start unpacking. I'll, uh, I'll uh, spare you the gory details and uh, get everything out of the box. All right, while inventorying the hardware, I use my thread checker to determine that it is metric. So uh, I'll be using uh, metric size tools to uh, assemble the uh, lift. Okay, in the very back of the manual, which I usually find that in the front, is a bill of materials. And so I will inventory everything, make sure everything's there. Uh, there's an exploded view. And then uh, starting at the beginning, there are some instructions. Uh, like I said, I probably won't bore you with all that. Uh, but anyway, I'm going to go through and uh, uh, do my inventory, make sure everything's there. And uh, hey, don't take any man points away from me for, for looking at the manual. I appreciate that. Thank you.
All right, there we have it. The uh, Fisher Fish Share Multi Vehicle High Lift Jack. 750 pound capacity. That's what it's rated at. So hopefully there's a little safety factor involved in there. I'm sure there's a little usually safety factors are actually two to four. Uh, assembly was relatively easy. The uh, support bars there on the side um, I had to loosen those up a couple of times because I didn't uh, really understand the instructions fully before I assembled it. All of the hardware was present. There was no extra and there was nothing short. Uh, there was one little red cap uh, looks like it's just a cover cap for something. I don't know where it goes. I didn't see it in, on, in the inventory. Uh, so that's no big deal. All right, let's see how this thing works. All right, so my wheels are not symmetrical. However, the instructions say to make sure that the uh, wheel brackets are of equal distance on the center bar. So in other words, uh, the lift is actually going to be off the center line in order to balance the bar that's going across there. So that, as they say, is that. All right, well, for me, I actually can't go max height because uh, the bottom hits. So uh, also, also, all of the weight is actually on the deck. I know it looks like it's on that bolt right now, but I just lowered it and it's on the deck and so I'm gonna have to flip that bolt around alright I have the bolt flipped around it looks like I have clearance now um, could probably pull it out just a little bit more uh, alright the other problem I had was uh, setting the pin uh, I had to use some pliers to get in there and set the pin I kinda didn't like that too much but you know that's the way it is I guess for a setup now I'll start the uh, lift again. Now what's interesting about the lift, and I read the instructions, <laughs> uh, is the pedal doesn't come up, which I'm really surprised. I mean, I would like the pedal to come up, but it does not. So that's just kind of weird to me. Oh, wait a minute, I need to set the safeties. Yeah, I just learned something with my Gravely. That is the fuel indication. You see that? It's E and full. Little gas pump right there. <laughs> I didn't have that on my review video of this uh, machine. Anyway, uh, this is not about the Gravely. Although if you have one, you can determine whether you want to buy one of these uh, Harbor Freight lifts. So I'm going to start pumping it up. I'm already off the ground a little bit. So let me lower it and then I'll start pumping it back up again. So there's my bottom clearance. It looks less than six inches to me. Well, I just measured it and the back end is uh, three inches and the uh, skid plate or whatever the heck it is, is just a little bit less than uh, three inches. So, looks pretty good to me. Lower it back down again. Oh, <laughs> safety's off. Back up. Now lower it back down again. There we go. I feel much better working underneath there than when I did the first time. I did a blade sharpening video. I used a floor jack and a, a quick lift. Uh, so anyway, that, that all really didn't work out too well for me. I didn't like that at all. So uh, happy so far.